Good. Good morning, everybody. Uh, appreciate you being here. Um, you know, obviously a uh, little bit different, uh, different press conference for me. Um, but uh, you're definitely excited about this week, excited about the opportunity that's in front of us. I thought our guys did a nice job through the bye week. Um, you know, our focus this past week was truly about uh, uh, you know, continuing to improve, uh, developing the fundamentals, the overall understanding of, of you know, our expectations and uh, you know, putting ourselves in the best position uh, for this week that's ahead of us. We, we understand the importance of this game, uh, the opportunity. Uh, you're excited about the, uh, the showcase um, you know, with you know, being, being the host of uh, game day and opportunity being a prime time. Um, uh, you know, uh, presentation, and uh, you know, it's going to be a great showcase for uh, for for both universities and the opportunity that's in that's in front of us. And uh, you know, the the importance of this game for for our team, our program. Uh, you know, obviously our fan base. Uh, it's one of the greatest rivalries in in college football, and uh, you're definitely excited about uh, about the week of preparation ahead, and uh, you know, the opportunity that's in front of us come Saturday night. Hey, Coach. Um, I know y'all are still doing the meetings and all virtually, but I guess what are you able to do when the team's out at practice? Are you able to be there in any way virtually, or is it more people kind of reporting back to you afterwards? No, that was one of the you know, great things. You know, yesterday we had our normal Sunday practice, and uh, um, you know I think you know, Austin Phillips, our uh, you know our, our video crew did an extraordinary job. I was able to to have access to. Uh, multiple cameras on on uh, both fields to be able to kind of go back and forth, uh, uh, you know, in real time for what was going on at at practice, and uh, you know, you know, through you know speakers, I could communicate with coaches uh, from things that uh, that I was able to see, and um, you know, I thought you know, all in all, it was uh, it actually went you know pretty smooth. Uh, you know, we had our normal virtual meetings uh, for for myself. Uh, you know, adding into our team meeting virtually, was able to to, to lead that meeting was in you know. Our, uh, all of our other meetings that we had, uh, you know, collectively our group special teams, as well as uh, you know, being able to have the flexibility to move around uh, through the individual meetings as well. So um, it is, it's, it's not ideal, but um, you know, being able to make the most of it, uh, I think um, that's one of the great things about uh, about technology, and you know, really just. Uh, you know, as we were going through the whole quarantine, you know, we talked about sometimes, you know, the greatest challenges bring along some of the best blessings and, you know, the, the blessing of uh, understanding and, and developing comfort and how it can operate virtually and, and, you know, the things that we can get accomplished, uh, I think definitely uh, has prepared me for this moment uh, in, in what we're having to go through. Hey, Mike, David Hale with ESPN. Um, first off, you're setting a very high standard in Zoom attire for the rest of us, uh, who many of whom are probably not even wearing pants right now. So uh, congrats on that. Uh, what was what was the response that you had when you found out about the test results? And did you have like a protocol in place already in the event that this was would happen? Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, you know, we've had, we have a, uh, a plan in place. If, if anybody, um, you know, any member of, of our staff or organization, if this was to occur, um, you know, kind of what that next step was going to be. Um, you know, obviously, I was uh, you know surprised by the by the result. Um, you know, obviously. Uh, uh, you know it's it's saddening and uh, you know hurts that I don't get to be be around our guys for um, you know for the next ten days. Uh, you know immediately went and you know you know did a uh, did a follow up test and you know had my uh, my wife and daughter you know, they also went and got tested and uh, that's probably one of the biggest challenges is that uh, you know being you know being at home and being isolated not being able to give a hug to my daughter or or, uh, or wife and just the uh, the challenges that go with that um, but then still you know you know some of the the positive things of you know being able to be involved with the meetings to be able to still um, you know play a very active role in our preparation and and as we're going through the course of this week um, you know, it's like I told our football team. You know, it's an opportunity for uh, for for all of us to show the response to adversity that comes up, and uh, it's what we uh, you know what we talk about all the time within our within our program. And now I get a chance to to, to be the example when um, you know something didn't uh, didn't. Uh, you know, necessarily have a have a positive turn when in regards to, to my situation and being able to do my job, but uh, um, you know, I can definitely control that response. Hey Mike, uh, first of all, are you still feeling okay? Are you having any symptoms? 
Uh, I feel fine. Um, good, good, to, good to hear that. Um, and then can you explain a little bit more about like your, your setup at home? Are you watching the, the practice on, is it on TV somehow? Is it computers? What's that, what's that setup? Well, I've got everything, everything runs through my, through my computer. And so, um, you know, that's, uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good setup. Um, you know, have, have access to be able to, to go to different cameras, um, you know, as practice is going on and, you know, it's a, um, it something that I, you know, I was, I was unsure, you know, how, you know, how, uh, easily and functionable it would operate, but it's actually, uh, it was pretty good. And, you know, being able to, to run through that last night, uh, you know, sets up for tomorrow morning's practice, uh, you know, for us to, uh, to be able to go, go through and, and, and execute that at a high level. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about, uh, um, you know, obviously what t- technology allows us to do and, um, you know, just go about business as, as usual as, as we possibly can. Hey, um, on game day, will you be able to do much of anything? And also, um, I guess Chris, Tom, Coach Thompson, was this one of the real, real main reasons you wanted him on the staff to be kind of a, a guy that could, um, not that you knew this was going to come, but just to have somebody very familiar with you and how you want to run things. Uh, absolutely, and and you know I'll I'll be able to to kind of serve my role up until uh, until the guys you know leave the hotel. Um, you know we have we already have things in place uh, for the vir- for me to be able to uh, be there virtually with them. Um, you know obviously I won't be able to to do anything with our players in in person. Uh, you'll hear this week, and you know we're still exploring all options of of you know being able to. Um, you remain isolated and doing the things that, 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 uh, you know, that I have to do, you know, through protocols. And so, um, but, you know, when it comes to, to the in-person, uh, you know, head coaching responsibilities and, uh, you know, obviously the, uh, you know, just uh, another, another piece of the value that Chris Thompson brings. And he's somebody that I've known uh, since I was in college, I've got to, I've got to watch him as, as, uh, you know, as a player, I've obviously worked with him as a coworker when I was at Arizona state, he was my offensive line coach. And, um, you know, he's had, he's done a remarkable job in his opportunity as a head coach. when he was at Abilene Christian, uh, did an extraordinary job with that program and, and leading, you know, leading men. And that's something that, uh, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, I think is one of the greatest, you know, one of the great and greatest talents of Chris Thompson is just, uh, um, the way guys respond to him he's got an unbelievable heart he's a great teacher um you know a very uh, a, a very pure soul when it comes to uh, every aspect of what he does and um, you know I, I knew that I wanted him a part of this staff uh, not only for what he brings x and o's but uh, you know just that that leadership in, in in every other area as well hey coach this is uh, Jake Stofan with Capital News Service uh, there's been some criticism of the sort of poor adherence to some of the social distancing measures at the uh, home game, uh, the first home game. uh, The president has announced that he'll be uh, implementing some new policies and procedures going forward when it comes to home games. What was kind of your takeaway from what you saw up in the up in the stands uh, during the first home game? And what are some of the changes you would hope to see coming uh, going forward? Well, you know, honestly, I didn't really look in the stands a whole lot uh, throughout the course of the game. So, um, you know, obviously our focus is what was going on uh, you know, be- between the white lines there throughout the course of the contest. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are that are in place for, for our players and coaches. And, uh, you know, that being the first uh, the first game and just the overall operations of, of what we do and how we do it, uh, you know, we're just going to continue to – to, to improve in every aspect there and, uh, you know, just excited about the opportunity that we get to be able to play the game. Mike, do you uh, know yet how uh, you came into contact with the coronavirus to get a positive result? And as a second part to that, um, has contact tracing um, led to other coaches or players being unavailable for this game? You know, I mean, I am not aware of how, um, you know, I came, came into contact, um, you know, with it. Um, that's one of the, the, the challenges of this. And it was, it was definitely surprising uh, when, I, when I did get, have the positive uh, uh, result uh, that came back. And, um, you know, we've adhered, we've adhered to all uh, of our policies and protocols, uh, you know, since my positive and, um, and, you know, going through that process of contact tracing. And, uh, you know, I'm really, 
uh, appreciative of the administration and uh, you know our players and staff for for how we operate and what we do uh, to limit it to to limit that contact uh, you know in in all regards and so uh, we we've gone through our process and uh, you know very, feel very confident in uh, in how things will continue on within within not only this week but the rest of the season. Coach, football question. What does the return potentially of Hampson Nazaldean mean for you guys, and do you fully expect him to play? I saw he was listed on the depth chart. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to go through this week and, and evaluate where he's at. Uh, you know, like I mentioned last week, um, you know, he, he is a, an incredible leader, a phenomenal football player. Uh, you know, brings such value in, in his versatility of skill set and what what he can do. Um, and so, you know, I know he's been working extremely hard. It's been great seeing him out there on the field, moving around, and uh, you know, just the the energy which he brings. And so, uh, you know, we'll continue to track that as the week goes on. Hey, Coach. Uh, Matt Fortuna from The Athletic. Thanks for, for doing this. Um, as far as you know, when will you be allowed back on the field in person with your guys? And second part is you come to Florida State to beat Miami uh, as a first-year head coach, not being able to be a part of that game just on a personal level. How much does that eat at you? Well, uh, you know, the first question, uh, you know, as, as long as I go through this uh, – uh, the next 10 days, um, I think the last three, I can cannot have any symptoms, um, but anticipating uh, that, that uh, a week from today uh, is when you know, kind of my in anticipated uh, return will be on field in person activities, but obviously we'll continue to, to evaluate that as it goes. Um, and, you know, the second question um, about not being, a, be, being able to be there in person, uh, you know, a, a part of this game actively with our team. I mean, it's extremely disappointing and it, uh, um, you know, it's this game is one of the great games in all of college football. It's one um, that you know when when I got the job, uh, you know, you know this game, Florida. I um, mean, those are those are you know each and every year games that mean so much to so many. You know, it means so much to our players, to our uh, to our coaches, to the program, to the fan base, to the schools. Um, so not being able to uh, to be active during the, the three and a half hours that. Uh, uh, that game, the game's uh, going to be taking place. Uh, you know, it's it's going to hurt. But uh, you know, the reality is, I do get to make an impact, and uh, I get to make an impact in in every aspect of our preparation, everything uh, leading up to it. Uh, you know, our guys, it's it's no different. It, it, like I, like I told them, I mean, there's times that, that players go down and they're not able to make a, a physical impact in the course of the game, but they get to make a, an impact in every other in every other way. So. Uh, you know, I get a chance to, to be the example for our team and, uh, um, you know, continue to do my job to the best of its, uh, of the best of its ability uh, of what I can do to help impact this team to get a victory come, uh, come Saturday night. And that's, that's the plan. That's what uh, uh, we're all going to do. And, uh, you know, we've got to, got to make sure that, uh, um, that, you know, we adhere to the responsibilities that we have to the jobs that we're called to. You and uh, Coach Dillingham have talked a lot about, I guess, your unique connection. With with you not there, does he move into the sidelines as the uh, primary play caller? And I guess how much how much confidence do you have in him assuming that role? Uh, I've, I've got the ultimate uh, confidence in, in Coach Dillingham. I I've, I've always have, and uh, you know I know that uh, the re the responsibility that uh, that he might add uh, you throughout the course of a game. If I if I'm not able to be a part of it, you know he's gonna he's gonna be fully ready for it and he's gonna do an extraordinary job with it. So uh, you know we've worked together for a long time, and uh, you know very you know very similar in regards to, to thought process and, and ways to attack. And so, um, you know, it, it's, uh, I've got the ultimate confidence of what that will, what the, what that will look like and will be. Coach, was there like any sort of apprehension when you, you had to tell the team, were, were you able to meet and tell the team and, and with this sort of, you know, sacrifice being asked for so many students to, to avoid, you know, being in situations that, you know, get them the virus. I guess just what were, what was the sort of your feeling like processing them and having to tell your team? Yeah, we did. We had a, uh, we actually had a zoom call, um, you know, when I, when I knew that, uh, um, that I had the positive test and that it was, uh, um, you know, obviously we had that that confirmed. We had a uh, had a meeting with the staff, uh, you know, virtually, and then did the same thing with the team. And um, you know, I've got the ultimate confidence that I've done you know everything in my power to uh, to do things the right way. I haven't you know gone and you know, put myself in in any. Uh, um, 
I guess jeopardizing situations. I mean, this is this is something that there are not a, are not a whole lot of answers to for for how it occurred. And uh, um, you know, it's 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 unfortunate that it's that it's happened. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, you know, in, in the in the release earlier in the week. I mean, to have you know my daughter and my wife that uh, you know both went and tested and, and came back with negative tests. I mean, that's probably been one of the biggest challenges so far. Uh, just not being able to to you. Know, really be around them and to, you know to uh, to have uh, you know, all the things that we're having to do um, you know as a family it's uh, you know it's it's all challenging and uh, you know missing Saturday's walkthrough is I think I mean in my coaching career the first time I've ever really had to miss a practice uh, that was emotional for me it was it was challenging for me it's like I don't um, you know, I'm emotional. I get emotional thinking about not being out there tomorrow because you know everything that I do is to, to help impact these guys and to help to, to build them up and prepare them. Um, you know, even though this is not the course of, of action that, that that I wanted to ever occur, it's I, I still have an opportunity to impact. Um, you know, the, there's plenty of players that that go through and maybe they get injured or they have a setback and um, they don't necessarily know how to how to respond or they don't. Uh, they don't when something doesn't go their way uh, their reaction is is uh, something that I, I have to be there for to help work them through it and now I get to be there and show them how to work through it to show them how to to overcome um, when things don't necessarily go you know go your way and um, you know it's still the response is what will what will define you and uh, that's what that's what I get uh, the opportunity for so I'm embracing that I'm embracing the the, uh, um, the, the, the challenge that's in front of me and uh, you know how I can still help impact this team and do my job to the best of its ability. I got one of the follow up. You said uh, after your test results were confirmed. You so you have follow up tests. How does that work? And um, if if you have follow up tests that are negative, is there any sort of I don't know appeal process or something along those lines for something like this? I, I tell you, you know, our our, our administration and university have done a great job. I mean the the um, the testing that we have has has uh, been really uh, you know done at a very high level um, you know a lot of confidence and and we you know there's there's um, checks and balances for everything that we do and so uh, you know if there is a positive test that comes it de- it definitely gets retested uh, to confirm and um, you know so a lot of confidence in in, uh, in in our testing policies and procedures and. You know, once once we got uh, the word back with uh, um, that my test was confirmed, and uh, then it, we went straight to the to the protocols that are in place of, of what we need to do for the for isolation and uh, and moving forward. So um, that's basically you know how how the whole event has kind of transpired. Hey. Coach, uh, first question would be: Does the fact that you guys have done some uh, meetings through virtual meetings on Zoom, does that make this less unusual? And then also, if you have all four quarterbacks available on Saturday, would your not being there impact your uh, decision to play one of the two true freshmen? Well, uh, first, uh, so the, the first question, uh, yes, this it has made it a lot, um, you know, being able to have the experience of operating virtually throughout the summer uh, in the quarantine has, has definitely made this easier and uh, you know a lot more confidence in how in how we can operate. Um, you know, in regards to, I, I mean, I guess I'd have to ask you to ask the second question once more, so I feel, so I understand what you're asking. Oh, I was asking if uh, if you had all four quarterbacks available, would your not being on site for the game impact your decision to play one of the two true freshmen? You know, we're going to play the guys this Saturday that we feel gives the best opportunity to win to win this game game on Saturday. Um, you know, that's if if I'm there, if I'm not there, regardless of, of any situation, that's what we're going to do, and that's how we're going to prepare. You've uh, you've obviously had experience going up against Coach Lashley on the field, but I know you guys also have the ties with Coach Malzahn. Um, do you do you know him personally, and what have you taken from watching? going up against his offenses in recent years yeah you know uh, you know red i've known for for a long time um you know actually um you know he was a the graduate assistant for uh for coach malzahn you know back at in at, at arkansas and then coach malzahn went to tulsa and um uh, you know um 
you know, Rhett decided you know, not to, to make that, that move, which is kind of what provided an opportunity for me to go and, uh, and become a GA with uh, Coach Miles on at, at Tulsa. So uh, I, I guess I owe a lot to Rhett for that, uh, for that decision and, um, you know, uh, a lot of respect for him and the job that he's done throughout his coaching career. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely uh, uh, you're one of the, 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 the sharpest and, um, you know, probably best offensive coordinators in the country at, uh, at what he does and how he does it. Uh, he's got, he's got uh, you know, this offense playing with a lot of confidence. You can see the explosiveness, which they show. Um, you know, we've gone against each other, uh, you know, a good number of times over, over the years and, uh, you know, a lot of respect for what he does. And so we, we're going to have to do a great job defensively um, in all aspects because they're very versatile in their attack in the run game and the passing game, um, you know, he's going to he's going to put you in some challenging situations with, um, you know, uh, with kind of special plays or trick plays or the misdirections, and so uh, you everybody's got to do their job and uh, and be ready to um, and be ready to uh, to rally to the football and you know obviously doing that against a, a, a very talented group. You've talked about, I mean, the difficulty of not being at practice. Obviously, this week at practice, I know Saturday leading up to the game at the hotel and all, you're kind of able to keep some closeness to kind of where your normal role would be given the circumstances. But how tough, how bizarre is it going to be kind of knowing once they leave the hotel Saturday that it's kind of out of your control and you just kind of sit back and, and watch how things unfold? Well, I mean, it's it, – you have to build confidence through the preparation. And uh, that's something that, you know, each and every week um, – you know, when we get once we leave the hotel. I mean, there's you know the 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 active decisions in 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 game day. You know, we're gonna have a plan for what for what we want to do, how we want to do it. Uh, a lot of decisions I make on game day are based off of the the preparation and uh, you know what you know what the situation calls for, what we're looking for, uh, the the uh, uh, the adjustments of what we could expect, and you know what are the best ways we can put our guys in 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 a, in a positive situation. So. Uh, you know, as a staff, we will have that plan ready, and um, you know, I've got the ultimate you know confidence in the group of uh, group of guys that we have going to the going to the stadium, whether I'm there or not, uh, that we're going to be able to execute the plan that's in place. And so, um, you know, that is our that is our our responsibility as we go through this week to prepare at a very high level, and then you know we've got to take that confidence in our preparation uh, to go into place 60 minutes come Saturday night and 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 executing that to the best of our ability. Coach, will you be elevating uh, an analyst or a, a quality control guy to, to the 11th coaching spot with you not being on the field Saturday? And, and can you, like, text message or do anything like that from your house on game night? I, I can't do anything uh, actively during, through, throughout the game um, when it comes to communication. Um, you know, if there was, if there was a uh, – Coaches that are isolated, if they can be a part of the game, they are allowed to be you know, active in it. Um, but you know, I, I don't. Uh, we've got a lot of things that, uh, that that we're exploring throughout that process of what it could be. But uh, uh, you know, if I'm not if I'm not able to uh, to to be there, be present, then it would be uh, uh, Tony Tokars will actually uh, go. He's our our one of our offensive analyst, and he would go uh, to one of the. Um, to the on the field or full time coaching um, positions, he would still maintain in, in the uh, in the press box, and then Coach Thompson will come down uh, to the field to be able to do the uh, uh, head coaching uh, in person uh, you know, assignment. Hi, Mike. I understand it's early in the week, but I was wondering uh, if there's any updates on Joshua Kando and Devontae Love Taylor. How are those guys progressing? You think they'll be available this week? Uh, you know, we're we're excited to see how they progress throughout the week, and uh, you will see how that goes uh, uh, through throughout the course of practice. You know, the next few days. All right, thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.